Nettleton's really going to be trying to push the ball into the paint, especially. And at Raza, right now, we're getting in hot. So, Cersei with the wins the tap, the ball in the front court. 
shot is up and no good. That was Flowers with the shot. For Cersei, Eva Roberts, number two to start, along with Sarah McCain, number 35, Olivia Robertson. What number's Olivia in tonight? It changes from game to the game. It's like 21 29. tonight. Uh, Chip Johnson, number 20, and London Flowers, number 45. Cersei in a zone defense, three from the right corner, no good, rebounded by Flowers. So. Cersei gets the ball back in the front court. Chip with the basketball. Cersei in their home whites, trimmed in red and black. Nettleton in their road blacks, trimmed in gold. Chip drives the baseline. Her runner's a little strong. Flowers hits the floor, but she gets back up. Robertson with the long three, rims out. Nice hustle by Flowers, get the ball back. And Cersei will reset their offense. Chip kicks it out to London. Her shot, no good. Fight for the rebound. Out of bounds off Nettleton. Good hustle by Cersei here early, Titan. As uh, it's about their fourth offensive rebound. That's that's a good sign. Yeah, and that's what definitely what they're going to need to beat this Nettleton team is get the offensive board and defensive board. It's, rebounds is a key essential to winning this game tonight. I think just effort. I think from what I can, in talking with Coach Sisman, she just wants effort. And so far, if you're getting offensive rebounds, you're getting effort. So, I agree. Three from the left side is good. That's number 23. Williams with the three. So an early three to nothing lead for the Lady Raiders. Chip looking for the screen from Roberts, can't get it. Now they get Roberts up high, it's knocked away. Cersei maintains possession. Chip looks to dive the paint, kicks it out. Seven seconds remaining on the shot clock. McCain with the runner, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Raiders. That was uh, Donna Douglas with the rebound. Trying to get the ball inside. Taken away, going to get a jump ball call. That wasn't a jump ball. No. Uh, not going to say a whole lot early, but that wasn't a jump ball. This is this is 5A girls basketball. You got It's not seventh grade. You got to let them play. Yeah. Three from the left corner, long three is up and in by James. Akira James with her first basket, two threes for Nettleton, six to nothing early here as the Lady Lions trail the Lady Raiders. Nice job by Flowers, London Flowers with the layup. Good job using her body to get around the defender and uh, go up and use the backboard. It's just like what we talked about last Friday. She has really improved, and we, like we said last Friday as well, she definitely deserves to be a starter. She's just, she gives a lot of effort. It's just like what you said that Coach Sisman wanted. Uh, she, she just gives a lot of effort. She's just a hard worker. She just got to build that confidence, continue to build that confidence. Nice steal by Robinson that time. Gets it up to Chip. Chip's driving layups up and in. Johnson with her first basket. So a nice job by Robertson on the steal. Nice job by Johnson on the layup. And it's six to four here early. 4-14 remaining first quarter. Appreciate it. And nice steal again by Johnson. Two on one. Oh, the ball's loose. Robertson comes away with it. Outside to Roberts, her left-handed three. Eva Roberts for three. And Searson takes her first lead at seven to six. Nice job by Cersei Ro uh, Robertson fighting for the basketball. Mm -hmm. I think he wants a timeout. <laughs> timeout Nettleton. First quarter, 344 remaining, and Cersei with their first lead at 7 to 6. Um, as an official, and I'm on the other end of the floor, and you're yelling timeout at me, I'm not really paying a lot of attention to you either, yeah. you know? 
I, I never was a fan of, as an official, of the coach being able to call the timeout. I liked it a lot better when you had to have a player come up to you and say, Mr. Official, I want a timeout. Yeah. You know, because you get these situations where the coaches are yelling at, well, you're not, you're watching the game. You're not watching the coach. Yeah. You know, well, I, there's a lot of noise in here. That, just because you yell it doesn't mean I can hear it. Yeah, so. exactly. All right. Nettleton will inbounds in the front court. Oh, really? No, what he was too upset about, except maybe just a lack of effort on the Lady Raiders' part. Yeah. Steal by McCain for Cersei. So. And Cersei's doing a really good job with putting the pressure, uh, you know, with their offensively and defensively. They just, they're doing a really, they're playing really great basketball right now. What, I, what I'm going to be interested in seeing, though, Titan, is when Nettleton turns the pressure on, can Cersei withstand it? Yeah. You know? Two pointer by Roberts. Good. So Eva's got five. That's good to see. She struggled last game. She only had five points for the whole ball game. So to have five points in the first quarter, that that that's good. Yeah. That's very good. Nettleton cross court pass. 250 remaining first quarter. Searchy leading nine to six. Three is no good. Rebounded by Chip. She looks to push. She doesn't have the numbers, but she takes it anyway. Not sure that was the best decision, but she got it to go down. So 11 to six. Lady Lions with a five point lead. And I really think playing this zone defense, Titan, they're, they're gonna let Nettleton shoot the three, yeah. you know? Um, they're just not gonna let them beat them inside like you and I talked about because uh, Nettleton has more high than, yeah. Cer than the Cersei Lady Lions. Shot from the right sides up and in. Another three by Williams. And that's one thing too, you just gotta be really careful with them because you know, they're not only do they have height, but also they got some good three point shooters too. Well, there's a reason why they come into this ball game 16 and three, yeah. you know. It, it definitely, most definitely won't be a walk in the park. No. Nice job by Robertson driving the left side. Her first basket of the ball game, 13 to nine, a minute 33 remaining first quarter. Nice start by the Lady Lions here tonight in this senior contest. Driving the paint, and be out of bounds off the Lady Lions. Nettleton basketball. You know, this is the last game of the first half of the conference season. This is the Nettleton is game seven of the conference season, so. Next Friday night, we'll have Paragould here at home. That'll start the second half of the conference season. So, gotcha. Except for the the men lines, as uh, the lady lines went to Batesville and uh, played on Tuesday night. Unfortunately, she stepped back court. Good job. Uh, the, the guys got snowed out. They had to come back home before they had the opportunity for number number 22 for, that's Linderman checks in for Nettleton. But the Cersei boy line, men line, had to come back home. So they are scheduled a makeup game next Monday night at Batesville to get their uh, half season in so far. Robertson loses control of the basketball, throws it between the Nettleton players' legs out to Roberts in the corner. That was a crazy play right there. Yeah. 16 to nine, Cersei with the lead. Robertson lost control of the ball, went to the floor to get it, threw it between the Nettleton Lady Raiders' legs, and Roberts wound up hitting a three. If you ask me, that deserves to be on ESPN. <laughs> well. It's your boss is the one that can send it to him. So, Mr. Bowman, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> 15 seconds remaining, first quarter. Cersei leads 16 to 12. Chips got an opportunity. Drives in the paint, no good. 
Five seconds remaining. Nettleton looks to push. They're going to take a three. No good. Fight for the rebound and no shot as the buzzer sounds. At the end of one, the Searcy Lady Lions lead the Nettleton Lady Raiders by a score of 16 to 12. And uh, something tight and you don't see very often. Look at the scoreboard. 16 to 12. Look at, keep going down. Oh, zero fouls. On either team. Wow. You don't see that that often. As the cheerleaders and dance team get ready to perform. Cheerleaders made it back from Dallas. Had a, had a good meet. Not exactly what they wanted as unfortunately there was an injury during the routine on Sunday and had to go out and completely rework the routine. Yeah. Uh, Finished very respectable, but not what they wanted. I think there was some heartbreak, but uh, in the end, they fought through and persevered, did very, very well. Very proud of them. Yeah, they got eighth place out of 30 teams, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, is and what they said in their conference. Went into uh, the final day in third place. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, like I said, an injury forced them to have to back up and redo, but in the end, still, Tremendous job by the uh, cheerleaders for the Searcy Lions. Dr. Hart comes by. Good to see the superintendent at the ball game tonight. Supporting his lines. Searcy with the lead and inbounds, leading 16 to 12 as we start the second quarter. Uh, very good first quarter for the Searcy Lady Lions. Yeah. Jeff Johnson with the ball out to McCain. Her three's a little long. Nettleton clears it out. That was James. Wasn't able, to, I thought she, when she got the rebound, she might go be able to go coast to coast, but wasn't able to do that. Now they work it inside. No foul call. Coach wanted one, but hey, you haven't called one all night, so why start now, right? Yeah. Bowman in the ball game for Cersei. Her three's no good. And I was talking with Mr. Bowman today uh, while we were in class, and we were just talking, and we were talking about the tonight's matchup, and we were just saying, we were saying that every single time the girls do get hot and they always end up leading, but they also, but around the second half is when they start slowing down, and then that's when they give up the lead or they make it a close game, one of the two. So let's we'll just see if they can keep this fire and keep the speed all throughout the game tonight. Williams with the basket, cuts it to two, 16-14. Yeah, they really struggled Tuesday night, fourth quarter, had a big lead going in. Shot up, no good. Another shot, no good. No foul called. Still no foul called. Cersei gets it back. And now London with the shot, no good. Out of bounds, still going to be White's ball. Nettleton coach wanting a foul, but they're just letting them play. I ain't got no problem with that. Let them play. It looks like we're playing street ball. <laughs> they to play it the same on both ends. You know, I had a really good buddy of mine. He he used to play bas uh, pick up basketball um, at West Memphis. He always said that they don't call fouls unless you're bleeding. That's so. up. Well, if they call, start calling fouls, then they get mad to call it too many fouls. Yeah. You know? Like that could have been a foul there and nothing was called. So, But this is what my favorite type of basketball is because this reminds me of like the 93 uh, Detroit Pistons. Right. You know, with when Dennis Rodman was on there. It's just a bad team. They just didn't care. Like they just, they were basically playing football. And this is what it reminds me of. And I'm just having a great time watching right now. Three from the right side, no good. Chip tried to tap it out to herself, couldn't get there. Long three, no good. Shot up, no good. Well, when they ever do call a foul, whichever team they call it on, that coach is not going to be happy because he's going to say, well, why didn't you call the other one a foul? Yeah. You know? So, so that's going to be really hard on the refs to call a foul. Shot by Bowman, no good. Rebounded by the uh, Nettleton Lady Raiders. Work the ball inside. Shot up and in by Williams. 
I'm not even going to lie. I'm really surprised she made that shot. That looked like a difficult shot. We're tied at 16, 457 remaining first quarter. Long three by Johnson's off the right side, rebounded by the Lady Raiders. As looks like the men Raiders are headed in. I'm really curious out of the uh, out of the Nelson boys. I'm really curious about the Sean Jackson. He's six six, but I don't think he's going to start, which I'm really surprised about. Williams with her third basket of the quarter, and she's outscored the Lady Lions six to nothing, and Cersei now trails 18-16. Now Williams with the steal, stolen back by Robertson. Jump ball, be Cersei's basketball. I think the officials got something going tonight, so they're just going to let this one play. We're not going to get any fouls called. It gets through quicker that way. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah, they got to they got to be home by 10 o'clock. So. 18-16, Nettleton with the lead. It was Nettleton's ball. Cersei got it coming out of the quarter. So Nettleton on the jump ball. Inside, Williams, kick it back out in the corner. Williams again in the paint. He's going to get called for a walk. But it's just like what you said at the beginning of the game with them not calling any fouls. I'm perfectly all right with it. No, we're, we're all good. It's a good ball game. Roberts shoots a three, no good. Rebounded by McCain, and Nettleton finally comes away with it. Played a little soccer there, a couple headers. Working around the outside is the Lady Raiders. Sarcy still in that zone defense. Trying to get it inside to Williams. She spins, back out. Three, top of the key is no good. Roberts with the rebound. 3.09 remaining first quarter, 18-16. Nettleton with the lead. Chip with a long three. That's got to be a foul. First foul of the game on Candace Pettis for the Cersei Lady Lions. As Candace in the ball game. Now that's a foul that you have to call. Well. Push foul on Candace actually over the back's not a foul. No such thing in the rule back. Just she went through the uh, the uh, Nettleton Lady Raiders body. Out of bounds off Nettleton. Cersei's ball. 18-16. Quickly Cersei in the front court. McCain with the shot. Long. Rebounded by Williams. Also for Cersei, number five, Butler in the ball game for the first time. I'm sorry, uh, Meadows in the ball game for the first time. Three from the right side, no good. Butler back into the ball game for Nettleton. Starting to put a little pressure on in the backcourt. Hopefully it's not gonna affect Cersei. Pettis with the ball. And out, stolen away. Two on one fast break. Oh, that, that was an ugly shot. Now quickly, Cersei in the front court. Two on two fast break. McCain from the right side. Jumpers up and in for Sarah. We're tied at 18. Minute 51 remaining. It looks like Nettleton's decided to put a little pressure on them. It's just like what you said earlier. Right? I guess we're just going to see what happens when Nettleton starts putting the pressure on them. Nettleton works the ball around the outside. Three just right of the key is no good. And that was Linderman with the shot. Minute 27 remaining, tied at 18. Nice drive in the paint. Can't get the shot to go by Meadows. She had a good idea, just couldn't get the ball to go in the hole. Yeah. 
minute six remaining. Nettleton with the ball now in the front court. Looking to get the ball inside to Williams. Cross court. Five seconds remaining. Williams shot, no good. Chip looks to push in the front court, right side, drives the baseline, layup up and in. Chip with six. Cersei regains the lead at 20 to 18. Shot clock is off, 26 seconds remaining. Nice job by Johnson that time. Get the ball inside to Williams. Her shot, no good. Chip now with the ball in the front court. 10 seconds remaining. She drives the left side, drives in the paint. Shot won't go down. She got her own rebound, still won't go. And at the end of one, the first half, the Cersei Lady Lions lead the Nettleton Lady Raiders by a score of 20 to 18. Let's do some quick, quick stats here, all right? Not a lot of points that quarter for either team. Yeah. Um, Eva Roberts with a good first half, eight points for her. Sarah McCain with two. Uh, Olivia Robertson with two. Uh, Chip Johnson with six. London Flowers with two. That gives Cersei 20. Uh, with one foul, one foul called on Candace Pettis. Uh, for Nettleton, James with three, uh, Linderman with three, Kayla Williams with six, and uh, Mackenzie Williams with six for a total of 18. So at the half, the Cersei Lady Lions lead the Nettleton Lady Raiders by a score of 20 to 18. Cersei Lady Line basketball on live TV.
18 at the half. Searcy with the lead. Just told the official as he walked by, hey, great job. I, I, I like the no fouls, yeah. you know? Now, I can promise you this. I'm almost guarantee you this. Second half will be in the double bonus, both teams. So, that's just how it goes. I can see that. Searcy with the lead at the half, 20-18. to 18. Uh, Once again, Roberts leads the way for the Searcy Lions with eight. Uh, Chip Johnson with six, and then Sarah McCain, Olivia Robertson, and London Flowers with two each. So uh, six for Kayla Williams, six for McKenzie Williams, three for Linderman, and three for James makes 18 for the Nettleton Lady Raiders. Both teams come out to start the second half. We'll see if we'll have the same starting lineup for the second half we did the first. Looks like both teams will come out with the same, same ladies to start. Cersei with Roberts, McCain, Robertson, Johnson, and Flowers. James, Williams, Butler, Douglas, and Williams for the Lady Raiders. As the immortal Freddie Mercury and Queen sing, we will rock you. We'll just see how this second half turns out. Does, it, does the Cersei Lions keep the pressure like they've been the first half, or do they slow down and let Nettleton, you know, get the lead? You're going to already see what I'm talking about. Nettleton's going to – Nettleton's going to uh, number five. Foul was on 23. So first foul. Of the ball game for the Dentleton Lady Raiders, and the uh, fans, stand, fans are already mad. Cersei now, Roberts with the basketball. You're going to see Nettleton put a lot more pressure on Cersei this second half. Uh, you can see they're already slapping at the basketball, doing some things they weren't doing in the first half. Robertson pushes off, going to get an offensive foul call. Olivia Robertson and we're well on our way to the double bonus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nettleton gets the ball back in the front court, trailing 20 to 18. Cersei has switched to a uh, kind of a little bit more of a matchup style zone. Still in the zone, but uh, putting a little more pressure on the basketball. Three from the right side is good. Kyra Williams with her third three pointer. And Nettleton with the, regains the lead at 21-20. We're a minute into the third quarter. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast as Chip loses it out of bounds off of a Nettleton uh, Lady Raider. So Cersei will get it back. We'll see how many people, if I can find out how many are watching or not. I think last time I checked, we had 25. So it looks like up to 27, it looks like. So Cersei inbound. McCain with the basketball. Roberts drives in the paint. Left-handed shot, no good. Ludden with the rebound. Her shot, no good. Robertson, though, good hustle for the rebound. Cersei looks to reset their offense. Nettleton right now is doing a really good, great job slowing down Cersei right now, which is also face guarding a lot of their great players like Jim Johnson and also Sarah McCain. Putting, putting <coughs> excuse me, a lot of pressure on the basketball, so it slowed Cersei's offense down. Nice shot by Johnson. Cersei regains the lead at 22-21. Oh, double dribble, nothing yep. called. Then he called it. Double dribble, so Cersei gets it back. The official on this side missed it. The official under the basket saw it, though. So that's one of the things. A lot of you're, as an official, just officiating one on one. Um, you're not officiating the basketball. You're officiating your zone, and you're not watching the ball. You're watching the defense. So little things with the basketball sometimes can get away from you because you're not looking for that. Three from the left side is no good. Yeah, I can definitely see that. 
You're, you're looking for, for position and players and, and different things. Three by McCain is short. So you're not really actually watching them dribble the ball. And sometimes they'll do something to touch it with, and you don't see it because you just not looking. Yeah, and that's the whole point about when you're when you're officiating a game is that you know you're not the ball ain't gonna get fouled. Mm. It's no. gonna be the player. Uh -huh. Out of bounds off of Flowers for Cersei. So Nettleton will inbounds under their own basket. 509 remaining. Third quarter, 22-21. Lady Lions with a one-point lead inside to Williams. She kicks it out. Three from the left corner is no good. Williams with the rebound. And her eighth point of the ball game. Regains the lead for Nettleton, 23-22. Nice job by Chip. And then the look, Coach Sitzman wanted a foul, nothing called. Thought Chip got hit on yeah. the hand. The official says he thought that got touched the ball, so. Nettleton walks it up. Leading by one on this beautiful Friday night. One of the only few pretty days I think we're going to have for the next week or so. Yeah. So, um, I don't yeah. know. Arkansas just can't make up its mind. It, we got lucky Tuesday. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to get that lucky next week. Chip with a nice drive in the paint. Flowers got her shot blocked. Oh, and then Robertson's going to pick up the foul for Cersei. Olivia Robertson with her second foul. Nettleton will inbounds right in front of us. As we have no sideline cameras tonight, just overhead. Yeah, a lot of people didn't want to sign up and, you know, live stream with us. Which that's what I don't understand. It's that people wouldn't, the people that are in line TV, they, they think live streaming is so boring. Nah, it's the best thing, best part of my week is live streaming. Nettleton works the ball in the front court. 16 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Drive through the paint, shot no good. Ah, had three Cersei lines there and wound up knocking it out of bounds. I don't think Coach Sitzman's real happy with the effort right there. It so. looked like Sarah thought she got fouled or got scratched right on the, below the eye or something. Well, um, I think she did get hit there, but I'm not sure that her own teammate didn't do that. Inside the Williams, shot no good. Foul's going to be called on London Flowers, her first. Team's third foul. So, I'm sorry, that's Douglas at the line. Douglas will shoot two. First one, no good. First free throws of the night at 338 remaining third quarter. How often are you going to see that? Not very often. Yeah. Second free throw, no good. I'm glad there wasn't a camera over there because the camera would have got smoked. Would have got <laughs> wiped out, huh? So... Cersei uh, well, lost the ball, so Nettleton will maintain possession. 23-22, Nettleton with the lead. Trying to get the ball inside. They do to Douglas. Ooh. Foul's going to be called, I think, on McCain. Yep. I don't know about that. It looks like all ball to me, but... Well, I, no, I'm, I'm sitting over here. I don't have a, the best view, so. Douglas missed her first two free throws. She's missed number three. May not be bad defense. Just let her shoot free throws. She gets one more. She makes that one. 24-22. Little three-quarter court. They're trying to trap here against the Cersei Lady line. Robertson gets the ball back. Out to Chip. Cersei resets. Inside the Flowers. She's going to be fouled. That's on Donna Douglas. Her first. Team second. 
We're up to 44 now. First one is no good. Flowers misses the first one. One more. London misses them both. Still 24-22. Cersei trails by two. Turnover Nettleton as Robertson's able to get her hand on the ball. McCain comes away with it. Chip. Thought he was going to call a carry, but instead we get a timeout, Cersei. So Cersei with their first time out of the ball game with 2.51 remaining and not a lot of scoring. What? Shot clock. Uh, so Cersei didn't call a timeout. Nettleton gets it. Inbound Cersei, shot up by McCain, no good. Flowers with the rebound, and then foul's going to be on 44. Douglas picks up her second. Team's third. Four fouls on Cersei, three on Nettleton. Cersei the inbounds. London going up for the shot, and Douglas is going to pick up another foul. That's her third. And the fouls are starting to count up as Douglas is going to have to sit down with three fouls. And you were right. When we started the second half, you said, you literally said that we're going to start getting more fouls and we're going to get into double bonus. And looks like that you're going to be right. I've been in too many of these kind of ball games where that's just how it happens. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Second free throw, no good. 24-23, Cersei trail, long three from the right side, no good. Fight for the rebound, Cersei comes away. Chip looks to push, got numbers, three on two. Chip through the lane, layup up and in. Nice job by Johnson, Cersei regains the lead at 25-24, 2.18 remaining. As subs here at the table, getting ready to check in. Three from the right side is no good. Hits the support above the rim. Bowman checks in for Cersei along with uh, Linderman for Nettleton. So now Cersei's going to call a timeout. So about a minute later, but at 2.06 remaining, Coach Sisman uses her first timeout, and the Lady Lions leading 25-24. Not a lot of scoring this third quarter. Yeah, but it's been a really fast-paced game. It's really, both teams haven't really been slowing it down lately. They just, they're just they just going all for it. They've been putting a lot of pressure on each other, and that's all. What, that's what kind of basketball I like to watch. Good crowd following in tonight. It's blackout tonight, correct? Black and white. Uh, I, it was blackout, I think, before noon today. And then I think uh, whoever goes in charge of the themes, I think they realized that Nettleton's colors were black, and then we were doing all white, so then they tried to twitch into the white. Well, not enough people saw it, so. Oh, well. Yep. A lot of black down there in the Cersei uh, student section tonight. 25, 24, you'd ask me, I could have told you Nettleton's colors were black. Yeah. Oh, no, you ain't gonna ask me nothing. Cersei with the ball in the front court. Chip with the basketball. Inside, oh, Bowman had a shot, didn't take it. Chip drives, her layup, no good. <coughs> I don't think uh, that uh, Bowman really realized, Jade, how open she was. If she had just turned, she had an easy 10-foot jumper. Three, no good. Rebounded by the Raiders, shot up, no good. She gets her own rebound again. Still no foul call. So. Fans behind us are not happy that there was uh, not a foul call. Well, she had plenty of opportunities to put the ball in the hole and didn't. So. Yeah. Robertson with the basketball, drives through the paint. Her shot, no good. 
Rebounded by the Lady Raiders. We're under a minute, 54 seconds remaining. Cersei leads 25-24. Nettleton's got to take a shot. 17 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Thurston's still in their zone defense. Nice job by Roberts. Almost came away with the steal. Six seconds, five remaining on the shot clock. Three, going to have to shoot. Hard three, no good. Cersei rebounds. So one last shot here in the quarter for Cersei. Chip in a hurry, almost loses it. Robertson gets it back. Foul's going to be called. James with the foul. You knew that was coming at some point in time. Yeah. Call it on both ends. Call it on both ends. Ten seconds remaining for Cersei. Chip looking for the screen, drives the paint. Her shot, no good. And a charge called on Johnson. Her first of the ball game. Both teams with five fouls. So Nettleton the inbounds with two seconds remaining. Long threes up, no good. And at the end of three, the Cersei Lady Lions lead the Nettleton Lady Raiders by a score of 25-24. And, uh, six points in the quarter for Nettleton, five for Cersei. Looks like we're, they're just playing, both teams are playing really great defense right now. Uh, and also, we have, bo both team has five fouls. You know, we're just not making, we're not making free throws either. Roberts has eight for Cersei, McCain with two, Olivia Robertson with two, Chip Johnson now with 10 to lead the Cersei Lady Lions. Uh, London Flowers with three. It's Hershey one out of two from the free throw line. For Nettleton, uh, Kayla Williams with nine to lead them. Donna Douglas with one, and she's one out of four from the free throw line. And McK uh, McKenzie Williams with eight. So, got Kayla Williams with nine, McKenzie Williams with eight. That's pretty much all they're scoring. And then for Cersei, uh, Roberts with eight, Chip with 10, and then uh, Flowers with three, McCain with two, and Robertson with two. And that's what surprises me that Sarah McCain only has two. That's well, really you need, Sarah needs a couple of baskets this fourth quarter to have an opportunity to win. Olivia Robertson needs to score some points this fourth quarter to give us the opportunity to win. Yeah. Um, as the dance team and cheerleaders perform there between quarters. Who's the king of the whole wide world? Lions the king of the whole wide world. 25-24, yep. Nettleton get the ball start the fourth quarter. Got five on each side out. We're ready to start. Five fouls on each team, so free throws will become a factor here this fourth quarter time. Neither team shooting real well right now. Cersei's one out of two. Nettleton's one out of four. <coughs> out of bounds off Cersei. Nettleton will get it back. Still 26 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Nettleton works the ball in the front court. Free throw line, drive through the paint. Layups up and in by Kayla Williams. She now has 11 to lead the Lady Raiders in scoring as they regain the lead by one, 26-25. So she almost turned it over, but we're able to get it back. Still 20 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Bowman with the basketball. Out to Flowers. 10 seconds remaining. Cersei's going to have to do something with it. Walk. Robertson drug or pivot put. Travel called on the Cersei Lady Lions. We're a minute in. 6.55 remaining in regulation. 
Foul's going to be called on 33. Williams picks up her first, team sixth. And the next foul on the Lady Raiders will be a bonus for the Cersei Lodge. Cersei turns the ball over. Got a feeling that offensive set by the Cersei Lady Lions. Nettleton has seen that set, probably has it in their offense, and they knew where the basketball was going, and unfortunately, Cersei turned it over. Yeah, which Cersei has played Nettleton before in a tournament not too, that happened not too long ago. And so, probably both teams are really uh, familiar with how they play, and that's probably the reason why we have such a low scoring game. Nettleton works the ball out high and it's out of bounds. Shot clock. Shot clock's going to be Cersei's basketball. As didn't get a shot put up. Cersei gets it back. Trailing by one, 26 25. Chip with the basketball. Out to Roberts. Inside to McCain. She steps back, takes a shot, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Raiders. After that first quarter, there was quite a bit, quite a few points scored on both sides. It, it, they really settled in, and the shots aren't falling. They're only getting one shot. Not a lot of offensive rebounds. Just not, not a lot of points being scored. That wasn't even close on that three. Chip now with the ball in the front court. Cersei trails by one. Her shot, tough shot, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Raiders. One and done, one and done, both teams. Not a, not a lot of, Douglas gets ready to check back in for Williams with the shot in the paint, good. Mackenzie Williams with the shot, she has 10. 28-23. There's that same offensive set that we've had two turnovers in a row. Yeah. Three from the left side is good. Church is going to have to take the timeout. And Kayla Williams with the three. 31 25, biggest lead of the night for the Lady Raiders as they run off on a 7 0 lead here to start this fourth quarter with 4.50 remaining. Um, very important trip down the floor this next time for the Cersei Lady Lions as they. Really need to get some points on the board, as you can see Coach Sisman talking to the team on the bench. Yeah, and she was not, she didn't seem very happy when she was first calling the timeout. And honestly, I don't blame her. Cersei started coming up with a lot of turnovers this coming this this fourth quarter, and that's what you just can't do that. You can't put, you can't have a lot of turnovers in the fourth quarter when the, the game is this close. And then when you get a lot of turnovers, then this is what happens when it, now the score is 31 to 25. Passing not as crisp as it should be. Like I said, I think you're running an offensive set that maybe they're a, a little familiar with, so they're looking at the passing lane where they think the ball's going to go and getting their hand on the basketball. As Coach Sitzman uh, there on the on the bench has got her whiteboard out and uh, probably telling you, you 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 can't just run the same play every time because they know where it's going. You turn that way and look and maybe fake the pass and then turn back. You should have somebody on the backside cutting to the basket should be open. I mean, there's counterbalances to everything. So uh, it's up to the Cersei Lady Lions to, uh, to uh, get a basket this trip down. It's very important for Cersei. You don't want to let this get away from them. For Cersei, Avery Meadows into the ball game. First time in the second half. Eva with the ball in the left corner. Also for, for Cersei, Candace Pettis in the ball game for the first time in the second half. Cersei works the ball around the outside. McCain with the basketball. Inside to Roberts, back out, chips open for the three, no good. Cersei rebounds. Roberts open for the three, it's short. 
And Nettleton with the rebound. Not sure you needed to take two threes that trip down for Cersei. Now, yeah. now you got to play tough defense. Yeah, I agree. It's because we, we still got four minutes left on the uh, on the clock. You could have just easily you could have took a two. Yeah, took a two. You didn't have to have a three point. And that's what a lot of players have a hard time with is that they think they always have to have a three to get back in the game. When simple, more twos will add up than threes. You know, Williams cannot get the shot. I'm sorry, that's Douglas cannot get the shot to go down. And then Donna Douglas picks up her fourth foul. Team seventh, so Cersei will go to the line to shoot in one and one. As Brown checks in for Nettleton. As Douglas sits down. 31-25, 342 remaining. Here in regulation, it's a Friday night in the jungle. First free throw, Mama Kane's up and in. Got one more. Timeout called by Nettleton. So that's their second timeout. 3.42 remaining. Fourth quarter. And nice job by McCain hitting that first free throw. We need one more. She needs to make the second. Yeah. First points of the quarter for the Cersei Lady Lions. Very low scoring ball game here tonight, especially you take away that first quarter, very low scoring ball yeah. game. Cersei with 26 points and they had 16 the first quarter. Yeah, and just on that last foul, Sarah looked like she hit the ground like super, super hard. She, she did. And as you can see, she just doesn't, you know, she just doesn't look happy right now. Uh, she's tough though. She can handle that. She'll shoot one more as both teams break the huddle. 3.42 remaining here in the fourth. I hope that's just to us and not to everybody else. Yeah. Second free throw, no good. Cersei's two out of five from the free throw line tonight. No, it wasn't just us, it was also on the live stream. So, so hopefully Mr. Bowman is trying to figure that out, what's going on with the cable. There might be a, probably someone upstairs actually touch, accidentally touching the cable and it's just getting messed around. So, 31-26. Shot up, no good. Rebounded by McCain. Still plenty of time with 3-11 remaining. Robertson with the three. That not sure they wanted that one. We're under three at 258. Person still in their zone defense. Done a good job defensively tonight. Just struggled on the offensive end. Three from the left side, no good. Still a five point ball game, 230 remaining. McCain with the basketball. Shot from the baseline is good. That was a really good shot. She might have got away with the wall, but nothing called. 31 28. One possession ball game with 210 remaining here in regulation. Nettleton. Not putting a lot of pressure on the Cersei defense, to be honest. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Five, four, driving the paint. Shot is up, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Raiders. Uh, they're going to count it. As thought it might have been a shot clock violation as the first shot didn't hit the rim, but the officials counted it. 33-28, McCain's three, no good. Nice, nice rebound by Pettis. Her basket's up and in. So Candace with her first points of the night. And we still got a ball game. 
It is 33-30 with a minute 29 remaining. Cersei trails by three as uh, Robert still with eight for Cersei. McCain now with five. Olivia with two. Chip with 10. Uh, big, big basket by Pettis there for her first points of the ball game. London Flowers with three, but it's still anybody's ball game with a minute 29 remaining time. Yeah. And honestly, you don't need to have to have a three right here. You, no. you can take a two because when you shoot a three, that's a lot of pressure on you because, you know, they're playing they're playing really great defense. They're, they're face guarding. Uh, Nettleton is face guarding from Cersei. And Nettleton's just playing really great defense. If you can just get around them, maybe set a screen, and then do something like what Sarah just did uh, earlier, and just do like a little spin move uh, fadeaway shot, then maybe we can get some points on the board. Got to play good defense right here, not foul. Play good defense, not foul. Uh, give yourself an opportunity to go down with about a minute remaining, only down three. There's a lot of basketball left in this last minute and a half. And then if I'm not mistaken, if Nettleton gets one more foul, we're in double bonus, aren't we? Now you got to get to 10. 10 We've only got that's seven, okay, yeah, so. Okay. I, uh, I, I, guess I guess I got that mixed up. Good thing about if we get a hell ball, it is Cersei's possession. Cersei back in their zone. Do not want to let the, the two post players for Nettleton get the ball inside. They do get it inside to Douglas. She kicks it back out. Try to get it back to Douglas. She drives. She got fouled by Robertson. Good call. Robertson with the foul. Uh, Douglas only one out of four from the free throw line, though, tonight, with a minute four remaining in regulation. So let's see what she's got here. Her first free throw rattles around but goes down. Douglas with two points, 34-30. When she needed them the most, she made them. Yeah. Douglas makes them both, 35-30. We're at a minute, 58 seconds remaining here in regulation. Robertson with the ball, drives in the paint. Ball's tipped in the backcourt. Be Cersei's basketball. Olivia will inbounds right in front of us. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Flowers back in for Cersei. Olivia inbounds to Chip. Can't waste a lot of time here. You've got to get a shot off. McCain with the basketball. Over to Robertson, she drives the right side. She's fouled. 23. Williams with her second, team's eighth. Robertson to go to the line, shoot two, and big free throws here for Olivia. First one very pretty, nothing but net. She's got one more. Timeout, Nettleton, 35-31. As Nettleton takes their third timeout. 32, fourth quarter, 32.7 seconds remaining. Need this free throw, the second free throw right here by Robertson to keep it a one possession ball game with 32.7 remaining as Coach Sisman talks to her club. Been a, uh, Cersei played hard, we talked about one thing she wanted more than anything else was effort all four quarters. She's got that. Uh, playing a team that's got a very good record, uh, 16 and three. So uh, nothing to be ashamed of, but these moral victories, she's tired of them. Yeah. She wants to win some ball games, and I, and I understand that. She looks at it as Cersei two and four, talking to her before the game. She says, honestly, we could be six and oh. Yeah. You know, so. And it's just like what I said before the game too. They always, they always made it a close game. Uh -huh. You know, they they didn't always get blown out in the conference games. They always made it a close game. So if they, it's just they need to get that. They need to keep Gotta that get over fire. The top. Yeah. Gotta get over the top, and it's just a confidence thing. Yeah. Uh, finding a way to win instead of uh, sometimes it's almost like you find a way to lose. You have to find a way to win. Yeah. So. 
Then we got an official in the stands. Not sure I'd want him calling my games. <laughs> One more for Searcy. Second free throw short. Rebounded by Williams. Searcy's gonna have to foul. They gotta have a foul. Still no foul. Now we finally get a foul. Took too long to foul. Robertson picks up her four. Yeah, Coach Sisman was just yelling foul, 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 foul. And the Nettleton player was just doing a really great job just trying to avoid it. You've got to stop the clock. Yeah. And <laughs> unfortunately for Cersei, they were trying to steal the basketball instead of commit the foul. <laughs> uh, got Flowers in for Cersei along with McCain. 35-31, 20 seconds remaining. Three throws good. She gets one more. That's Jones with her fourth point of the game. Second one's good. Chip with the ball, Cersei trails by six, driving the paint, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Raiders, and foul's gonna call. I think, I think Olivia's gonna foul out. It's gonna be the fifth foul called on Robertson. As she's gonna have to go sit, go sit down as Meadows checks back in, 37-31. Hate it for the Cersei Lady Lions as they played hard tonight, but with 7.3 seconds remaining, unfortunately, they're not going to see the victory here tonight at the jungle against the Middleton Lady Raiders. First free throws up and in. But it's just like what you said when you were talking to Coach uh, Sitzman. You know, she wanted effort, and she definitely did get effort tonight. She got effort tonight. 38 31, 39 31. Yes. When it mattered this fourth quarter, Nettleton six out of six from the free throw line. Chip drives in the paint, her shot's up and in. Cersei calls a timeout with one-tenth of a second remaining. Well, don't see how that's going to make any difference. Yeah. Because you can't score with one tenth of a second remaining, and you definitely can't score ten, six points with one tenth of a second remaining. But Cersei takes the timeout anyway. Coach still coaching. Still coaching. All right, let's see what we got. Roberts with eight for Cersei. And I've got a pretty good feeling this is going to be our final. 39 yeah. uh, 33. McCain's got two, four, five. Uh, Robertson with three, uh, Chip Johnson with six, eight, 10, 12 to lead the Cersei Lady Lions. Candace Pettis with two, and London Flowers with three, 13, 40, 50, 16, 17, 18, 28, 30, 33. Three tenths, they put two more tenths on there. That ought to make a big difference. And that's the ball game. For Nettleton, Jones with seven, Linderman with three, uh, Williams had nine, 12, 16 to lead all scores. Uh, Kayla Williams, Donna Douglas with three, and two, four, six, eight, 10. For McKenzie Williams, 20, 30, 36, 39, 39 for Nettleton. So our final here tonight, the Cersei Lady Lions uh, go down in defeat to the Nettleton Lady Raiders by a score of 39, 33. Cersei drops to 11 and 10, two and five in conference play. Nettleton goes to 17 and three, five and two in conference play. So. 
Totten, let's take a break, and we'll come back with the boys' action here tonight. Once again, our final, the Searcy Lady Lions are defeated by the Lady Raiders of Nettleton by a final of 39-33. This is Searcy Lady Line basketball brought to you on Line TV.